coming to rally at the State House. Um, my name is Ellie Rao. I'm with the Buckeye Forest Council. Uh, we'd like to start with Teresa Mills. She is an organizer with the Center for Health and Environmental Justice. Hey, Ohio. I want you all to know that we have sister rallies going on across the state. Um, Youngstown is holding a sister rally. I'm not sure if there is one in Mansfield or not, but we have sister rallies going on. Uh, that's why we may look sparse, but we have a lot of people out there that are doing the same things we're doing. My name is Teresa Mills. I am the Ohio Field Office for the, Envir the Center for Health, Environment, and Justice out of Falls Church, Virginia. Um, and I am a citizen of Ohio. I live in Grove City, Ohio. Um, the oil and gas industry is at it again. They're using highly sophisticated PR campaign to protect their image rather than working to make their whole drilling process safe for the public. Ohio legislative leaders have introduced a bill that would do little to protect the public from toxic releases and emissions, spur innovation for developing true renewable energy. Rather, it is a cynical attempt to dupe the public into believing that fracking can be done safely. How many times have we heard that Ohio has the best oil and gas regulations in the country? Well, the new well construction rules, for example, certainly don't stand up to those accolades. For example, the draft rule on surface casing on surface casing fails to meet the acceptable state of the art for surface casing depth. This is an important matter, a very, very important matter. As the isolation distance between the drinking water sources and the bottom of the surface casing is one of the most critical groundwater protections we have. The ODNR draft rules sets the depth for surface casing at just 50 feet. However, the industry itself acknowledges that 50 feet is not adequate by half. To this point, the American Petroleum Institute's guidance document on hydraulic fracturing recommends that surface casing be set at a minimum of 100 feet below the deepest groundwater source of drinking water. Today, No Frack Ohio and the People's Oil and Gas Collaborative released a report entitled Ohio Oil and Gas Rules, a State Comparison of Selective Health and Safety Majors. We compared Ohio's rules with Pennsylvania and Texas. And let me give you a couple of examples that we looked at. Um, in Ohio, you can drill an oil or gas well 50 feet from a stream, water course, water well, pond, lake, or other body of water. 50 feet, that's 16 yards. You can drill 16 yards from a water stream. Pennsylvania requires 1,000 feet from an existing water well, surface water intake, reservoir, or other supply extracting points. 1,000 feet, that's 333 yards compared to our 16 yards. Ohio setbacks. In Ohio, you can drill an oil or gas well 150 feet from a private home or school in an urban area and 100 feet from a school or a home in a rural area. 150 feet. Okay. Um, Pennsylvania requires 500 feet, which is 166 yards from a building. Texas, the Texas Railroad Commission, who regulates oil and gas, 
does not regulate how close a well can be to a res to residential property. Guess what? They leave it up to the locals to control that. <laughs> Spill reporting. Spill reporting regulations. Ohio has none. None. Even though in 2005 and 2009, the Stronger Report, and I'm sure we've all heard of the Stronger Report, the industry and the government hold it up as their Bible all the time. But that report quoted that they recommended that the Ohio Department of Natural Resources should adopt regulations requiring that all spills, most recently including those with hydraulic fracturing activities, to be reported directly to the state and or the county so that the staff can provide a timely response. Again, Ohio, Ohio Department of Natural Resources has not followed these recommendations. In Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania requires that a, per, that a spill must be reported no later than two hours after di discovering the release. Again, no requirements for Ohio. Pennsylvania, two hours after discovery. While Ohio may have the best regulations for the benefit of the oil and gas industry, they certainly don't have the best regulations that would protect the public health. Ohio will only have one chance to get these rules right, and so far they are failing miserably. The oil and gas industry and their friends in the Ohio legislature are trying to fool the public by introducing a bill that will do no more than be a PR campaign to cover the industry and will not protect Ohio families. Governor Kasich and the Ohio legislature, shame on you for thinking that Ohio citizens could fall for these fake attempts to, ha to have our best interest in mind. Fake reform is not good enough. Don't underestimate Ohio citizens. We are smart, we are savvy, and we will not fall for it. Thank you. Yeah.